Because Oya no ti said the Oya village lotto forecaster. Ena aso anti asi e chiri no akoto mbe bi ikikiki. Na unim de oka ya mkaso Oya Oya se village lotto forecaster no. Oko ka se me me ne president Mahama ebe pay ya info NDC take it. Na ana se eno amasoa ya be pay bagben ene eh visitano eno amaso a e be pe we ni we eno o pe no ti se de e pe lutu numbers so eno na ma o eno na mi ta so ka se de o ye no any scientific basis bi a no tra se o ni obi akasa wo e wo ni panimfo o din kita ho wo ndc mo o ni panim bi a ni kita ho na de o ye no o ye se village lutu forecaster eno na wan ti ase a Actually, I met met you for cryer forecast. I for forecast will be at me a forecast. Sir forecast is based on scientific analysis. Now contrast now and one saw point point here. Yeah, it's a lot of forecasting. And now Nibufu yeah no sign cut na radio so I said you can tell crowd cast or no ye good day or new general secretary papa. Nebra so ya lose you let him wait, ya ye wait, ya ye wait, or ye he won't on ye and no kind of say, Oh, hallelujah, and your man said, No, I confirm with you. Because one week ago, Nipa never cast away useless, now she obey a vice president. Now, not that week, was I a useless ya? We look to free her, they're very researching the Amos. This is Angel 102.9. Send to you, and then they make us say, We are sure banker now, or two him. Yeah. The following week, you know, they are not a sure banker last week, you know, and I see a machine number. And I say, These are the people we call leaders. That's the point I'm making all the time. These kinds of people should be uprooted as leaders of a political party. You can't lead a political party. Lead them astray in that manner. You are not able to take responsibility that I'm sorry about this one. Let's move on. By now, Johnson Asiedu Katia should have sponsored a motion at, this, at the steering committee of NDC to begin to build infrastructure to deliver NDC's results. Let's look at the constitution of the NDC. Article 27. They'll put it on now. You see it. Let's look at it. The constitution of the NDC is coming up on the screen. Okay, so there you have it. Article 27 of the NDC is about the general secretary. It says, the general secretary and deputy general secretaries. Okay, one, the general secretary shall. Thus, general secretary is an individual. It's not many people. It's one person. It's Johnson Asedun Katia at this time. He, this is the responsibility under the NDC constitution. General secretary shall be responsible for the administration of the party secretariat and all party employees. B, be responsible for the coordination of party organization and campaigns. The general secretary is responsible for the campaign and he shall be the secretary to the National Congress. That's the secretary to the National Congress. The National Congress is the highest decision-making body of any political party. So as far in the NDC constitution, you can see it on the screen now. Look at B. It says he shall be responsible for coordinating party organization and campaigns. Now, if you conduct a campaign like I said, Nketia did, according to the NDC's own constitution, like he did, and you finish the campaign, do you come with the verdict from the campaign? Do you come with the results of the campaign? You do. That's the logical end to it. 
Now, he's not able to achieve that. He was not able to achieve that. And then he filed a writ at the courts to challenge it in an election petition. He made himself the star witness because, as usual, people like that like to take advantage. I've said that already. He wanted to take advantage of it. So he made himself the star witness. He goes into court and he disgraces the NDC in court. He embarrasses everybody because he looked like NDC had something. He goes to court and he had nothing. He has not been able to compile the results. Ben Kumbo talks about it and you are calling him names. You have gone to an election. The, 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 the Constitution says you must be responsible for the campaigns. You have conducted a campaign for John Dramani Mahama and for the NDC MPs. The thing with the MPs is that each MP is in their constituency, so they are taking care of their own destiny. That happens in all political parties. At the center, the national one, the general secretary is supposed to report to the presidential candidates and say, Chief, these are my results. Now, the NDC, NPP and Joe Anoche thing, they had a system. They had a system in place. The MPP did not win the election because they had a system in place. That's not why you win election. You don't win election because you create a system to collate the results. No, that's not why they win the election. But if you look at the MPP and the Joe Anoche bit, you will, that, that's on your screen. So this system that the MPP put in place that you're seeing on the screen now, that is not why they won the election. Let's get that very clear. They didn't win the election because they had put in a system. No. The system is there so that they will know when they are winning or when they are losing, so they can account for it. People put systems in place for election monitoring so that they can account for it. When the NDC, MPP put up the system, it didn't mean they were going to win the election. On election morning or election night, your system doesn't mean you win. Your system just gives you the verification that you need in the 21st century election. Johnson Asiedon Katia is living in the 13th century. That's why he talks the palm wine talk. You don't understand that you are running an election in 2012, 2020, you have to have a system. He doesn't have the system. He has been exposed to the world in court that he didn't have a system. And that's the pressure on his shoulders. That's why he's upset and angry and he's talking. Look at the way now he's talking about vigilante, threatening. You will not attend the IPAC meeting, the Electoral Commission's IPAC meeting. You will not attend it. I'll talk about the reforms in a minute. You will not attend the meeting that is doing reforms. Because he doesn't want to face up to the responsibility that he has been disgraced. Because he checked his responsibility under the NDC constitution. Now let me go to the Electoral Commission CI. And then you will see how serious this dereliction of duty for Masih is. Then you can understand why he has pressure on his shoulders. That everywhere he goes, people are looking at him. And he thinks that people are saying in their mind that, ah, but January, you still don't have the results. We are in May. He doesn't have it. January, February, March, April, May. The guy doesn't have the results that the taxpayer paid to deliver to him. John Dramani Mahama doesn't have results. Whether the results that the Trial Commission published are A or B, John Dramani Mahama doesn't have it. He doesn't have it because his general secretary was derelict in his duty. Because as a general secretary, he has made the general secretary as if it's a joke. Every day he's cracking jokes. Every day he's joking. He's joking. So he, he thinks it's a joke. So you come to a serious election when your competitors are building infrastructure to pull out their results and to be able to know at which point they are leading and where they are losing. They, they know. If you are losing, you know. You are winning, you know. General Johnson said, look at that, doesn't know. Now look at it. Public Elections Regulation 2020. Results of election. It's in section 39. Section 39.3. Let's read it. The presiding officer, A, shall then announce the results of the voting at the polling station before communicating the results to the returning officer. Even before the returning officer gets to know, the presiding officer should announce the results at the polling station. Let's go to B. It will move on. B, and that's why we've colored it for you to see it. B, the presiding officer shall, obligatory, it's on the presiding officer, it's obligatory, he shall give each candidate or the representative of each candidate or the counting agent a copy of the declaration of the results. And let's look at C. And C, there is the post same results at the polling station. So the presider officer shall do these three things. Let's go back to B, which is Asir Dunkatea's responsibility. B, the presiding officer is obliged by the law, paid for by the taxpayer, to give each candidate or the representative of each candidate or the counting agent a copy of the declaration of the results. So, so, so you can understand Johnson Asi Dunkatia's embarrassment. This is what is embarrassing him, and he doesn't think that anybody will pick it up. And when we pick it up as a media organization, because that is our work, our work is to call out their names. 
And that's what I'm doing. I'm calling your name. Johnson, I say, Niketia, you have failed. You have been derelict in your duty. You have spoken palm wine talk. Get up, wake up, and apologize to your party people. 6.2 million people sat on the sun to vote for John Dramani Mahama. You cannot account for them. What's wrong with you? That is dereliction of duty, and you come and talk about something else. Talk about that. You went to court to disgrace the party. Talk about that. The party constitution enjoins you to conduct campaigns. You conducted the campaign. Where are the results of the campaign? Talk about that. Don't throw your matter onto the electoral commission. Talk about your own dereliction of duty. When the MPP went to court in, in July in the, in, in the 2012 election, they were holding their results. They went to court and they said, this is our result. As far as our results are concerned, we think that the outcome should have been different. Checks were made. Comparison was made. Chachuchikata went through it. KPMG, the accounting firm, was called in and said, listen, come in. MPP are showing some results. The Electoral Commission seems to have a different results. Can you assess the MPP results? Can you make a count of where, where all the infractions took place? They made a count of where all the infractions took place. That's responsibility. That's responsibility in political leadership and political jurisdiction. Johnson Asedun Katia's conduct is irresponsible, backward, and moribund. He should know that. And he knows that. He thinks people are talking about it. And yes, we are talking about it. But when we see you, we respect you. You're a senior citizen. We're not going to be talking to you about it. That's what worries him. People see him, they respect him, so they just hide. But he can feel the pressure. He can feel it. That's why I said that Kofi was fortunate. Kofi was, was merciful to him. If Kofi had asked him this question, he would have run away from the studio. The relation of duty. So KPMG counted in that 2012 election. Nine judges of the Supreme Court. Four of the judges felt that, hmm, this one, let's run the election again. Because of the MPP figures, and electoral commission figures, the kind of disparity, we think that there's something, let's run the election again. Four, one, two, three, four, said let's run the election again. Five felt that in the interest of public policy, and I agree with the five, in the interest of public policy and all of that, please, let's leave it. I mean, we have gone eight months down the line. We have a government of John Dramani Muhammad. They have to conduct affairs. Let's leave it. Let's use this occasion to fix our electoral reforms. And so the courts proceeded to do many things as far as that process was concerned. They said, for instance, that what you saw in the CI, paste the results at the polling station. That didn't used to be part of it. It came out of the election petition of 2013, the five who ruled that let's continue, let the status quo run. John Mahama has been declared president. He's been there for eight months. Let the status quo run. Just a two go and co. I drop off my heart to them. Senior citizens, great patriotic citizens. Not John Senasi Dunketia. No, not him. Certainly not him. I'm talking about Justice Atuguba, the leader of the court that day. He took 20 minutes to give the verdict, whatever it is. When I asked him for an interview about leadership petition, he said, why not? I'll speak to you. He spoke to us. That's a distinguished citizen of the country. He said, well, for whatever reason, let's move on. We have another election. Let's use this occasion to fix our processes. Nana Kufado, the petitioner therein, said that even though four judges thought that I was right and five thought I wasn't right with one as a difference, I will not seek a review. For the interest of the country to proceed, I shall not seek a review. These are the people who are qualified to be political and national leaders. Johnson, I said, Dunkatia has been given a responsibility. Taxpayers have paid for it. You go to court, you don't have results. You have not told your people results. Your national uh, uh, executives, your council of elders, Ben Kumbo, they are asking for the results. You don't have it. And we are calling you out, and you come and sit on radio and you are talking some, some talk. That's Johnson, I said, Dunkatia for you. The election of his duty. So MPP didn't win the election because they have a system. No, no, no. The system is just to tell you where you are. The system is for you to account for the 6.2 million people who cast their vote for John Dramani Mahama. That's what the Electoral Commission is telling us. Johnson, I said, look at here. Do you also know that 6.2 million people voted for John Mahama? Do you know it? How did you know it? That the pink sheets that the taxpayer paid so that it's be given to your agent in the 38,000 polling stations, have you used it to drink palm wine? Have you used the pink sheet to drink palm wine? What do you use the pink sheets for? You think the pink sheet is a joke? It's not a joke, my friend. We paid for it. The taxpayer paid for it. Taxes are imposed on us to create that. We paid for it. It's not a joke. Don't say, look at here. Leadership is not about joke. That is moribund. Wise up and wake up. Moribund issues are behind us because we are serious about building our country and building our democracy. If you go and do palm wine talk in the court, stand up to your responsibility, sir. Mr. Sir, I salute you. Stand up to your responsibility.
Johnson, I said, look at you, take your salute, but stand up to your responsibility. It is your responsibility. You have been derelict in it. That's the point we are making. Dereliction of duty. And stop this funny and joking everywhere, joking. You are not a, a, a comedian. If you're a comedian, you're not even a funny comedian. Don't stop joking. You're a general secretary of a party. Stop joking. Every time you are on media, you are joking. The other day you were talking about the president has an acquired accent. Stop joking. I said, Ketia, stop joking. Get serious. Address the issues. You have been derelict in your duty. That's the point. You have let down the NDC youth. They have voted for John Mahama. You haven't been able to account for it. 